Okay, we're gonna walk out a little bit further so it's a little bit deeper. Ready? Okay. Good boy, get it, 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 yes, yes! Woohoo! Oh, <laughs> swim, buddy! It was just kind of sinking there. <laughs> puppy water intro and that is a great question but it's not so much about when but more about where and how you do it so we have a nice pond with a gradual incline into the water which is really awesome to start your puppy water intro we've got a nice warm sunny spring day the water temperature is warmer it's warmer outside all of those things are really important for when you do your puppy water intro not so much about how old your puppy is. And what we're gonna show you today is the difference between a five-month-old puppy, Glitch, doing his water intro, and a eight-month-old puppy, Hex, doing his water intro. And the only reason there's an age difference between them is because of the temperature. We couldn't do Hex's water intro when he was five months old or four months old because it was the middle of winter, guys. Not ideal conditions for doing a puppy water intro. So we're gonna show you what that looks like today. I'm gonna grab Hex out first because this is his training series after all, and then we'll show you what Glitch looks like. Like I mentioned, we've got Hex. He's eight months old. He is collar conditioned for recall. We've done tons of retrieving games with him. This guy has a lot of the prerequisites and basics before we've even started a water intro. I've got an assortment of bumpers that I can utilize. Um, we've got some soft mouth retrievers from DT Systems, different colors, different sizes, and one of our small canvas DT Systems bumpers as well. He actually came over and picked this one up, so I'm gonna go with that first of all. But I'm gonna give him his attention. Come on, Hex. Good boy. And we can do things like warming him up with just a retrieve down the shoreline where he's actually just getting his feet wet a little bit. Hey, Hex. Good boy. Good boy. Here, just a little vibrate for recall. Come on. a boy. Good job. Good job. I'm probably gonna get a little wet and muddy today too, but that is why I'm in muck boots and ready for it. Okay. Go get it, go get it. Yeah, good boy. Good. Good boy. So a little bit hesitant, like, ooh, what is this? Getting wet stuff. Come on. Good boy. Good. Want to do another one? Let's do another one. So instead of going straight down the bank this time, and I'm going to do a little more angled out. Ready, ready, ready. Tease him up. Having to step out there. He's a pretty tall boy right now at eight months old, so we can throw it out a little bit further, just gradually building on his comfort, getting wet, getting splashy, doing these retrieves. Okay. Again, it's a gradual incline into that water, so he's not getting that sudden drop off and startling him. Good boy. I also know what the bottom of this feels like. It's not real like super muddy where he's gonna sink into the bottom of this. It's not sandy either, but I know that he's not going out there going, whoa, I'm stuck in the mud. Ready, 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 okay. Oh, he even got a leap going on that one. I think we can ask a little more of him this next time. Good boy. Come on, puppy. Good boy. Good, okay, okay, yeah. You want another one? You want another one? Okay. Yeah! Woohoo! So he's still able to stand out there, guys. He's not swimming, but he was happy to bound in there after that bumper. Good boy. Good. Good, good, good. Good. I'm also trying to meet him kind of at the edge of the water and condition this nice natural hold that he has where he's not dropping the bumper to shake off because that's a pretty natural inclination for a dog to do is get out of the water, shake off, drop the bumper. So if I can just help naturally condition him to hold on to that as he's exiting the water and then offer him an opportunity to shake off, we're going to just build on that natural hold. Okay, we're going to walk out a little bit further so it's a little bit deeper. Ready? Okay. Good boy, get it, 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 yes, yes, woohoo! Oh, <laughs> swim, buddy. It was just kind of sinking there. Good, good, good. Good, good job. Okay, we're making great progress. We're just working our way closer to the dam because it gets deeper there faster. 
because I don't want to have to throw this halfway across the pond to get him to swimming depth because he may lose that momentum of going for it if it seems too far away. So if we can get deeper faster without a drop off, that'll help him stay motivated to get that bumper. Ready, ready? Okay. Get it, get it, get it. There it is. Swimming, good boy. Good boy, let's do one more. One more for good measure. Good, but he didn't drop it, so that's awesome. Good job, good job. Okay, tug, a little playfulness, a little playfulness. My bumper's getting a little waterlogged here. Ready? Okay. Oh, we didn't quite swim. We didn't quite swim. Right here. Here, good, good job, good job. Met him at the shore this time, good, good. I know I said one more for good measure, but we're gonna swim this time, buddy. Okay. Yay, buddy! Good job swimming, Hex! Awesome job! Good job, buddy! Good job. Awesome job, good job, good job. So guys, I don't know, I didn't keep track of how many throws we got, but we saw a gradual progression of getting him comfortable, making retrieves, getting wet, going a little further, a little further, and eventually we were swimming. So he did great on his water intro. It sounds like Glitch is excited for his water intro. So let me switch these guys out and we'll see how he does. Okay guys, Hex has also chosen his favorite bumper it looks like. That canvas one that's now a little waterlogged seems to be the favorite, but who knows, maybe he'll pick something else. So he's five months old. We've done some collar conditioning for recall as well, but not as much as Hex because he's younger and hasn't had as much training yet. Um, we've also worked on retrieving. So we are going to work on some more retrieving with him. I'm going to unclip him. Kind of a similar progression of what we did with Hex. Ready? Good. Just, oh, that was a terrible throw. But we got a warm up bumper retrieve. Good job, buddy. Good job, buddy. Okay. A little further out there, getting him wet. Good boy. Good boy. Come on, Hex. A little vibrate. Come on. Atta boy, atta boy. Come here, come here. Again, remember guys, not as much collar conditioning to recall has been done with this guy yet. Not as much proofing. Ready? Okay. Good boy. So I'm not gonna do quite as much along the shore this time. I'm gonna do a little more of an angle like I did with Hex. Come on, puppy. Come on, come on. Good job holding on to it. Ah, uh ah, -uh, Hex, come on, glitch, glitch, glitch. Come on. Good boy, good boy. Tug, play fun, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's shorter than Hex, so it won't take as far to get him swimming. Get it, oh, you did it. Good job. Good job. I'm gonna try and meet him at the edge. Good boy, good boy. To continue that nice natural hold like I explained with Hex. Good, ready? Let's try for another one. Oh, you got it, you got it, go, go, go. Oh, he's like, I hit that edge. He hit that edge, guys, of where he was gonna have to make the decision to swim. And I should have been prepared with another bumper to entice him to go just a little bit further. Come on, ready, ready? Get it, get it, get it. You got it, okay. Ready? You can get that one. Yeah, you can get that one. Oh, this is so close. So close, puppy. Come on, let me get a little rock. Hey, ready, ready? Okay, come on. I'm getting out in the water with him, kind of enticing him like, hey, you can get it, go. Go, that, that orange one's really close. That orange one's really close. Look, you got it. Pick one, let's go. Good job, good job. So when push came to shove and Glitch had to make that decision of stop or swim, he decided to stop. And that could just be a slight confidence issue with him at this point. So we're gonna help build his confidence and be like, hey, we can get these. Let's grab this one, it's a little close now. Can you get that orange one for me, buddy? Good job, good job. So I'm gonna have some extra bumpers ready this time so I can just coax them out there if I need to a little further at a time. Get it, get it. Get it, get it, get it, come on. No, 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 come on. Get it, get it, get it. Right there, go get it. You got it, you got it. Go, 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 go. Good job. Good job. Good, okay. Ready, ready, ready? 
We're so close. We're so close. Get it. Good boy. Good boy. Good. Good. Good job. That's fun. That's exciting. You want another one? You want another one? Let's see if we can pull this one back to us. Oh, you're going to get that one for me? Awesome. Oh, you left it. Okay, that's fine. Here, let's go here. Ready? Ready? Yeah? Ready? Ready? Okay. Oh, I was ready to throw another one almost too soon that time. He's standing on the string, so it like sunk that bumper a little bit. Good job. Look, look. Can you get that orange one now? Ready? Ready? Let's throw a rock at that orange one, see if I can entice him with a splash. Get it, buddy, good. Get it, get it, get it, get it. Oh, you definitely like the canvas one better, huh? Well, too bad we've only got one of those. Go get it. Oh, you're so close. Making progress, getting out there further. Good job. Good, 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 good. Let's see if we can get a little further, a little further. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Good job. I'm kind of crossing that barrier of land to water with him. Good. Glitch, glitch, glitch. Come on, Glitchy. Come on, Bobby. You think that white one looks fun? Yeah? Yeah. So again, I'm going to try and cross that barrier with him again. Get his momentum going out into the water with his favorite bumper, the canvas one. Ready, ready? Good job, Glitch! You swam! His feet did come off the bottom. Not a big swim, but it was definitely a swim. Progress over the last couple of retrieves. Yes, yes, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go! Come on, come on! Come on, come on, come on! You can get it! So close, buddy, so close. And we are definitely swimming now, guys. He decided he still wants that canvas one over the other ones, which is just fine. Good boy. And I'm gonna not get greedy and be super excited with his progress and say, we will probably use canvas bumpers for him <laughs> from now on. So guys, you were able to see the progression between an eight month old puppy and a five month old puppy, and they both ultimately swam. It probably took a little more coaxing and a little more confidence building with Glitch, and that could be because of age and just a little bit because they have different temperaments too. So I'm really happy with both of their progress. We both got, we got them both to swim after multiple bumpers and just starting to build on that progression and not just immediately winging a bumper out there into the middle of the pond. That wasn't gonna work for either of them guys. So this guy's still excited but we're calling it quits for him. But I'm Cat the Dog Trainer, this is Glitch, Hex is in the crate, and we'll see you in the next video.